Welcome back. The strength of a country depends upon the vibrant political participation of all of its diverse members. With that in mind, the National Council of Canadian Muslims has launched a national grassroots campaign called Stronger Together. The aim is to empower Muslim Canadians to be active participants in the political process. We had a chance to attend the launch of the Stronger Together campaign, where we spoke to organizers and special guests, including Mariam Munsif, Canada's Minister of Democratic Institutions. Let's take a look. Welcome everyone to the launch of our Stronger Together campaign. Some of us see this as the beginning of one of the most important legacies that we will leave our children as Canadian Muslims. In this room today is a gathering of professionals, activists, visionaries and leaders who can be the catalyst for positive change that we want to see in our communities and for Canada. Uh, the Stronger Together campaign and NCCM as a group in general has for the past 10-15 years been the tip of the spear of that particular effort. If you take a look at the Muslim presence within Canadian public sphere with regards to all kinds of issues that affect Muslims and Islam in general, NCCM is always really the first one on the scene to talk about it to the rest of Canada, to make sense of these issues for the rest of Canada and of course for Muslims. We want to share our successes, our best practices and create case studies so that we can help duplicate these elsewhere. We fully recognize that this is a long process, but the question is, if not now, then when? And I know that the work that you've been doing has been representing us quite well, but the time is now to be louder, to be stronger, to be bolder in the work that we do and to reclaim the reputation of a faith that is about peace and justice and compassion. And so again, it's why I believe in what you're doing because the time is now and we have a lot of work to do. What, what I believe each and every single one of us has a responsibility to do is to build those connections and those relationships on the ground and to do so in a way that is respectful, in a way that breaks those stereotypes and those barriers because at the end of the day I sincerely believe that we all want the same things. We all want better jobs, we all want a better future for our kids and the only way that we can live in harmony in a place like Canada that is strengthened by its diversity is by building relationships and having conversations of respect and understanding within our communities. Well, 20 years ago, my mom made a very courageous decision to pick up her three daughters and bring them to Canada so that they could have a better future. And we were welcomed by the people of Peterborough Kawartha. Uh, that kindness of strangers, um, you know, whether it was people registering us for schools or inviting us into their homes for Thanksgiving and Christmas, their kindness and you know the the schools in Peterborough, whether it was PCDS and the arts program there or Trent University, um, and the interdisciplinary approach to learning that it provides, uh, I've I've been blessed as have my family to have ended up in a community. Um, that is working towards immigrant integration and inclusion daily and I don't think we are the exception. I believe pockets and communities like that exist across the country. I went back to my, med my medical practice within a few days and um, I had one of my really special patients come and see me and, and he always greets me by saying thank you Dr. Khan, you're the one that saved my life and he literally reminds me um, by years, months and day how many days he's been cancer free and uh, he's, not, he's not a Muslim, he's a, a black Christian elderly man and he said to me, you know what, I, um, I value the healthcare system here for what it's done for me and I value the education system for what it's done for my children and my grandchildren but I see what's going on in your community and it saddens me and he says, I wonder if one day I'm going to look back and regret having come to this country and I think to myself that nobody should regret coming to Canada. And you know, I think a lot of the times we, we put ourselves into these, um, the, uh, these campaigns and these programs for the future of our children. Um, but to me, this is about more than our children. It's, it's about everybody. And it's equally about respecting and honoring and validating 
um, the, the decision of our elders and the work that our elders did and our parents did in coming to this country here. I think we recognize now that while we've maybe established ourselves professionally and, and, and in various aspects of the community, this is something, this is an area that we're lacking, right? Having that strong voice, having that, um, uh, that sort of cooperation, collaboration with the greater community so that we do, we, we do feel valued and respected um, um, uh, in the greater community. Through education, with the influx, as I mentioned, of Syrian refugees, many of whom are Muslim, and the rise of Islamophobia, NCCM is receiving multiple requests for our resources, including our educator guides and presentations on how all of this is impacting our communities and our children. In the past two weeks alone, we've sent out a thousand guides to two Ontario school boards. Imagine having local teams working with their own school boards to share these resources and provide presentations. Canadian Muslims uh, are faced with various issues, but they're issues that our fellow Canadians face as well. So we need to make sure that this is an initiative that is broad and encompassing, that people real, they recognize that you don't have to be a Muslim to be involved in Stronger Together. We're looking for allies uh, to get involved, to get connected, uh, to work with us on these various issues, because as Canadians, what affects one of us affects all of us. There is going to be in place a program of training and development to ensure that people have the skills and the necessary requisite knowledge to understand how to communicate their points well, to understand you know, how to stay focused on their message uh, so that what they're saying is heard and the, the underlying message is also maintained and retained and emphasized going forward. The political rhetoric devolved to a point where through the NCCM and our, our online incident reporting tool, which is a resource for members of the community to report discrimination, harassment, and hate crimes, we saw a significant spike in reported hate incidents. We really want to give people that information, help them understand it, so that they can articulate with their own local MPs to create or continue to nurture any relationships they have with their elected representatives. So we will be working to build that and we'll be working to provide information, to provide training to people who want to be involved in this. The campaign, in fact, is starting with um, talking to politicians, to our MPs, about Bill C-51, which is high on my list as well because it pushes Canadian national security policy over the edge. And in fact, it's quite scary because even without Bill C-51, our national security systems that are aimed supposedly at increasing public safety are actually quite problematic and contradictory with our Charter of Rights and Freedoms and our Bill of Rights anyway. So this is uh, an aspect within Canadian life that needs to be looked at regardless, and especially this is important for Muslims. It's always amazing to see Canadians um, uh, come together and decide to take ownership over their own politics. But particularly when you see communities who feel they have been uh, on the outside of the mainstream or political mainstream, when they uh, decide with political maturity and sophistication that they do have a role to play, that they do have a responsibility to share, that they do have an obligation to their families and to the broader society that they have a role to play in shaping our politics, in getting involved in decision-making process, in offering their perspective. And I feel this is what this initiative offers. You know, Islamophobia is, is, is something that we all need to take to heart. We need to make sure that, you know, whether what we say or what we do uh, or the environment that we create uh, is one that is, that is open uh, to everyone. Um, and I think, I think we've seen uh, some of the worst and some of the best in people. So if you look at what happened in Peterborough with the mosque, you know, you really saw the worst you know, in, in human behavior, but we also saw the best where, you know, in my writing, the IIT mosque brought, brought uh, uh, two bus uh, loads of uh, uh, people from Peterborough, including, you know, clergy from different faiths, including, uh, you know, a rabbi, um, you know, a priest and, and, and other members of other congregations. So it, it really did bring out the best in us as well. Uh, and I think what we need to do is that for every negative thing that happens, we need to overpower it with strength and with conviction and with, you know, a unity.
I would like to see um, what started here, I would like for that to spread. I would like for people to know what this campaign is all about, to know um, how they can be involved. Um, I want people to feel like they want their own hand in this, right? Because this is their future, the future of our children, and respecting and honoring what our parents' generation has done for us coming into this country. So I'm hoping that from this, we're going to have um, individuals who go out into their communities, spread the word in their neighborhoods and communities, um, have people who are willing to go out and meet with their MPs and meet with um, uh, uh, local politicians, to meet with their, their police force, to meet with their educators in the community and to share the challenges that we face and to collaborate on potential, um, potential ideas of how to, how, to, how to address these issues. Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.